she um, uh, loved being around her family and she loved being around her friends. She just uh, was able to connect with so many people. Her smile graced us for a short while. We miss her. Allie Wolf was the face of the Beebs Meet Allie campaign, the face of the fight against neuroendocrine cancer. I was in awe sometimes of how strong she had as a 19-year-old girl to get that diagnosis. You'd think you'd be doing the why me, and she never said why me. She just said, like, it's been my life for a, for a reason. Allie lived her life with purpose, sharing her story here on 27 News. I was diagnosed with a neuroendocrine tumor in my liver. And so right away, I started off with chemotherapy this summer. And even in her last days, Allie set a goal to start a charity to raise money for cancer research. When we first planned this in the hospital room when she was sick, you know, we were thinking in terms of, well, maybe we could raise $10,000 or $15,000. Her dream became a reality when Russ and Sheila created the Allie Wolf Foundation after she passed. We got emails and messages and people coming to the race from all over and strangers that saw her on TV and connected with her. We get strength from all the outpouring and it, it makes you continue on. It makes you get up in the morning and keep going. Through that support, hundreds of thousands of dollars has been raised. This past year we um, eclipsed the $500,000 mark. so. Uh, we have uh, donated that all to research here. You know, it was important for her because she wanted to impact people that were local. That money has made groundbreaking research possible at the UW Carbone Cancer Center in Madison. We're one of uh, a few labs in the world that have ever been able to grow neuroendocrine tumors. And now that the fact that we can grow these neuroendocrine tumors, we're able to develop, start developing treatment strategies for them. Two years ago, this type of work couldn't even happen. I mean, it, it's through the Ali Wolf Foundation and getting pilot funding to be able to do this kind of work that this is at all possible. We have started a clinical trial on humans and there's going to be more tools in the toolbox. So Ali, there was nothing out there for her and, and now there's going to be for other people tools in the toolbox that we can actually try some other treatments and uh, you know, our ultimate goal is to get the cure. A goal that's within reach as Russ and Sheila carry on Ali's dream. We can do such great things when we hold each other up and press on.